Bye bye. Hey, it's Troy. Welcome to another video. So today I wanted to talk about disassociation and the difficulty of disassociation when you are engaged in a program of self-improvement. Okay, and that self-improvement can take the form of game, of dating, of relationships, but it could also take other forms as well. It could be a program of self-improvement just in terms of your charisma or in terms of the way that you come across to other people or in terms of your business or any aspect of your life really and the way that disassociation affects you is like this as you start to grow as a person as you start to change mentally you haven't really caught up with the fact that you're now a different person to what you were before. So imagine if at school you were the stereotypical geeky loser who found it really difficult to make friends and didn't have girlfriends and found it almost impossible to, you know, to communicate or, or have any sort of relationships with the opposite sex, okay? If you were that sort of person, then say you undergo a long and rigorous period where you really engage in self-development. You work on your mindset. Sorry, my phone keeps binging. Um, you work on your mindset, okay? You work on your socializing skills. You work on your charisma. You work on your presence. You know, you work on all of these different aspects for yourself. And now, all of a sudden, the way that you're coming across to other people that you interact with is significantly different to how you used to come across, okay? And as a result of that, what's happening is that now people are reacting to you in a different way to how they were before. Whereas before, because of the way that you were, you'd have come across as very lifeless and dull, and people would have, as a result, not really engaged with you or not taken you seriously or not wanted to sort of converse with you for, for any length of time. Now, all of a sudden, they're smiling when you approach because they can feel that positive energy coming off you. They, once you're in a conversation with them, they want you to stay. They think, because of the way you put yourself across, that you are something special. They think that you're a big deal because you've learned those charisma skills. Maybe you've been in Charisma and Dating Academy um, and you've built up this sort of persona. And so they now regard you very differently to how people would have regarded you before. Now, all of a sudden, they see you as something more than you imagined yourself to be. Because remember, you're still stuck in that previous mindset. You're still stuck in that image of yourself, that subconscious image of yourself as being that guy who was unpopular, that guy who couldn't make friends, that guy who couldn't express himself fully in front of other people. And that disassociation doesn't get talked about very much, but it can be incredibly dehabilitating. It can prevent you from taking social risks and really pushing forwards with the journey of self-development that you are embarked upon because you feel inauthentic. You feel like, and it's akin to really imposter, sy imposter syndrome that people will talk about with regard to business or being somebody who puts out content for a living. People get this imposter syndrome because they think that so they're going to get found out, that people around them are going to say, well, you don't know really enough about this subject for you to be talking about this, etc., etc. And the disassociation that you feel when you develop your character, when you develop your personality outside of those narrow bounds that you always thought it was meant to inhabit is like that imposter syndrome, okay? But here's the deal. There is no limit to where your personality can take you. There's no, there, there isn't a, a perimeter around your personality. And if you step outside of that, then some imaginary police force turns up and arrests you for doing that, okay? You can take your personality as far as you can stretch it, okay? There are no boundaries. There is, no, there is nothing preventing you from changing entirely in terms of the way that you come across to people. You're perfectly at liberty to do that. That is your right as a human being, okay? Um, and actually, some of the most boring people on the planet are the most consistent and rigid people. You know, if you've got that sort of sense of agility and nimbleness about you, 
so that you can go through these metamorphoses throughout your life, then that is a fantastic, wonderful uh, thing to aspire to, okay? So the point about this is that disassociation, particularly when you're getting better with dating, when you're getting better with meeting and interacting with girls that you're attracted to, it is going to be an issue. It is a thing, right? There's no getting around that. However, don't allow it to stop you in your tracks. Don't let it prevent you from continuing on the good path that you are following. And here's a final thing. If you're feeling disassociation, then actually that indicates that you are doing something right. Because otherwise, if you were just stuck in your old personality and you weren't changing by going out, by taking action, by talking to girls that you're attracted to, by paying compliments, by being flirtatious, by pushing forward, asking for a phone number, uh, setting up dates and so on. If you weren't doing all of that stuff, then you'd still be in your old comfort zone and you wouldn't be feeling that disassociation. So disassociation in itself is not a bad thing. Actually, it's a very good thing. Just learn to push through, to disregard any voices in your head that are saying, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm, I'm acting somehow out of turn, out of character. That's not the case. Your character can change. That's absolutely fine. It's allowed, all right? So look, I hope that's helped. I hope that's clarified if you're feeling some of those feelings because I know I've certainly felt them throughout my life at different points and it's something that I've had to deal with and, you know, you get through it and it's fine and then you're on to the next horizon. You're on to the next vista and then you've got to work through that one and disassociation is going to be part of the part of the course along the way. It's just part of the the things that we have to put up with in order to get where we want to go. Anyway, listen, Renegade Dating Domination, which is my two-volume collection of articles, essays, it's 400 pages worth, over 150 articles, two volumes. It's out now, and it's currently on sale for 25% off. So if you're watching this on Friday the 19th of June, then until midnight EST tonight, you can still get the collection of two volumes. Uh, for that reduced price of 25% off. So do click the link below to get that. Um, and even if you're watching this after June the 19th and that discount is no longer in place, please do check out Renegade Dating Domination. It's some of my best work from the last five years. It's absolutely crammed with content like this uh, in text form all about dating, about game, about the dating marketplace, etc., etc. Link below. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me to spread the word, get more subscribers on board, keep putting out this free content for you. And beyond that, I will see you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.